How's it going everybody? Thank you for checking my channel and welcome to today's video. This is gonna be one of three part series when it comes to gambling. I'm gonna be gambling 10 million gold for circlets, amulets, and rings. And there's gonna be three individual videos for each one of the segments. And at the end of each video, I'm gonna be doing a wrap up to show you guys just what I was able to gamble and to be able to see if it was actually worth it gambling so much gold to hopefully reap the benefits of either something I can actually use on my character or at the very worst case scenario, be able to use to craft to make something even better. I was not expecting this to drop, so this is really nice roll. If you were able to get a socket quest, you can get a super GG circlet to be able to use. Now granted, this is not my first time gambling, as I have done a previous video where I was able to craft blood gloves, and most of the gloves that I had were gambled. I also, for my very first ever gambled amulet, was able to find one of the rarest amulets in the entire game. I have no idea how that happened, but thankfully RNG was on my side. For this video, I'm going to be going over gambling amulets, but before we get into it, let's go ahead and do the comment shout out, which is going to be Holy Saint Knight, who is stoked on the find for Azeroth with 0% magic find. Let's get into the video. Not even death can save you from me. Greetings, mortals. I knew you would find your way back here. For gambling amulets, this isn't something that I particularly think that you're going to be gambling to be able to use on your character necessarily right as it is. However, you could get lucky with getting a really nice set or unique amulet, such as being able to get a Tal's amulet to be able to gamble a High Lords or a Metal Grid as I did prior. However, worst case scenario, you're going to be getting a lot of amulets to be able to craft into caster amulets to be able to get hopefully plus two to skills for a particular character. 20 FCR, which is fast cast rate, and additional modifiers such as a lot of resistances, especially for cold, fire, and lightning, to be able to make your amulet super GG. With that said, let's go ahead and check out what I was able to gamble.
As you see on the screen, these are all the amulets. Not all of these are gonna be really good amulets, but there we're showing just what you're able to actually get with 10 million gold. Over here, we have the plus one to either a particular skill tree or just a particular character in the game. With down here, we have the honorable mentions being this one has all four resistance on it to so many skills for the druid. And then we have what would be a really nice amulet for early gameplay with plus one to sorcerer skill levels and 10 faster cast rate. And then we have over here the plus two to again a skill tree or to a particular class. And then we have down here the honorable mentions for them, which is two to the necromancer skills with some resistance and a little bit of additional strength. And then over here, this would have been really nice if it was two to lightning skills and 20 faster cast rate. Unfortunately, it did roll with only 10. But again, if you use these amulets to be able to craft caster amulets, you could hopefully get a 220 for yourself. Then we have over here, really nice amulet if it had something useful like plus two to skills and additional faster cast rate with three of the most important resistances, poison being the least most important, but really nice rolls on the three resistance on the amulet. And then we have down here, the two that I was able to get with three to either a particular skill tree or a character in the game. And last but not least is this amulet with level two teleport on it, because this is something I'm seeing a lot when it comes to Diablo II Resurrected trading is someone is always asking for a teleport amulet. And this is something that you are able to gamble. And again, if you get lucky, it's not always gonna drop with 10 million gold, but who knows, RNG might bless you with a teleport amulet. So that way you don't have to wait for Enigma and you don't have to simply just run around. You can teleport with a nice amulet and to be able to farm or get through the game that much easier. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is not to be able to show off that there's gonna be tons of set uniques or just simple 220s that you're gonna get with every single gamble. This is just to show what you could potentially get so that way you guys are better informed with knowing what is to be expected. And again, the very least of this, you'd be able to use these for being able to make caster amulets. If you like this content, wanna see more, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification and be notified whenever a new video comes out. And if you like this video, let me know by leaving a like. And if you can, please do share it just because it helps me with the algorithm. Other than that, I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.